Hi, this is Cyprian from FEFO All. Uh, and in this simple video, I'll show you uh, how to do a model analysis and what you can actually get from, from this kind of analysis. So, uh, I've taken a very simple model, just a plate that I just created, and I'll just do everything I have uh, to do to prepare the model. So, uh, first of all, I will be meshing this plate. So, we'll keeping this uh, size. Uh, so I get it. I need to have a material, so here I'm using uh, the alloy steel by uh, default. And I need a property, so I created this property with one millimeter thickness. Now let's just uh, constrain one of the parts of this plate. So let's constrain this side for example and let's fix it. So I'm fixing all the degrees of freedom. Uh, and now what I want to do is a model analysis. So I want to uh, check what are the natural frequencies and uh, also the mode shapes of this simple uh, model. So let's create let's create a model analysis model. Okay. Uh, here there's nothing to set up. Everything is done. And in the analysis control. Uh, yeah, no, in this here, subcase control, you can uh, change the number of modes. So, um, usually the number of modes is infinite, so if you want to analyze more modes, you, you have to change the value here, otherwise, you can leave it like that. You can also uh, change the frequency range of interest, so the lowest frequency, the highest, uh, if you have very large frequency domain to consider. So I'm just uh, creating this and solving. And you see it's very fast. Uh, so I'm getting some results here. And now I get the, the first mode. So let's change a bit the visualization. Okay. Okay, now you see uh, the deformation. So I can increase it a bit. Okay, so the first mode is uh, quite uh, obvious, let's say. This is the, the, the first mode because if you constrain a plate like, like here, uh, it will probably uh, oscillate in this direction. So this is the first and the most important of all the modes. Uh, and you see here the different frequencies which correspond to the natural frequencies that uh, you uh, need to check. So. This is the second mode of vibration, so you see the plates can also vibrate in this direction and if it does in this direction, the frequency, the natural frequency will be different. Uh, this is the third mode, this is the, the fourth mode, the fifth mode, etc. Now you can also get all the values in a table like, like that, so you will get all the eigenvalues which correspond to the frequency uh, the natural frequencies, the 10 uh, natural frequencies that uh, we wanted. Uh, and you will get the period, the cycles, and the different uh, result that you need. Now, what you need to understand, and what some people uh, don't get about model analysis, is that uh, there is no loading in this model. And there is no loading for a reason. You, uh, you are not analyzing the response of the model to a, a dynamic loading. In model analysis, what you're doing is that you are uh, investigating the the natural f uh, frequencies, the, the the natural modes of vibration of the model, and you are able to visualize the mode shapes, the deformation that correspond to each of those, um, and and there is no uh, load application because if you want to uh, analyze what is the response to a load, uh, to a dynamic load of your model, you will have to perform a different type of analysis. And generally it's called uh, frequency response dynamic analysis. If you are, uh, if your input is, is in frequency or time uh, response dynamic analysis. So these two uh, other types of analysis will help you to get actually what will be uh, the, uh, what will be the real deformation 
uh, in response to a specific dynamic loading. Here you only get the frequencies and the modes, but you have to notice that the deformation itself has no meaning, uh, which means that the amount, the intensity of the deformation here uh, has totally no meaning for this uh, model analysis. Model analysis is only used for two purposes, to get the, the frequencies, the natural frequencies, and to get the modal deformations. It will not give you the, the real um, intensity of the deformation. So this is a different type of analysis. Okay, that's, do that's all for this video. That was a very short video and uh, I hope you, uh, you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.